India accounted for the largest number of worldwide real-time transactions in 2021. We did 48 billion transactions, almost three times that of nearest challenger, China, which is at 18 billion as per the report of ACI Worldwide. There might be many reasons for that, but one of the primary ones is the focus of Indian banks on digitalization. Let us look at the benefits of digitalization in banks and how did the journey of the Indian bank's digitalization take place? Banks, after focusing on technology, have experienced a lot of changes. Because of it, we are enjoying the following benefits. Easier transactions, increased flexibility in keeping track of finances and convenient monitoring of all transactions. Easily able to track the dates of EMI and other details. Avoid late bill payments, saving time and money spent on trips to bank and post offices. Making instant fund transfer in case of emergencies from anywhere in the world. This around-the-clock seamless experience has also helped banks to get more customers too in cost-efficient ways. The need for digitalization was felt in 1980s. After the introduction of liberalization, privatization and globalization, LPG policy in 1991, private and international banks entered and the method of digitalization picked up the pace. ICICI Bank was a pioneer in bringing online banking to retail customers in the late 1990s and then others followed. In the year 2000, the Government of India enacted the Information Technology Act to provide legal recognition to electronic transactions and other means of electronic commerce. Further developments like telebanking, electronic compensation services, electronic funds transfer system, MICR, RTGS, that is real-time gross settlement, etc. were seen within the banking sector. Various steps and initiatives have been adopted regularly by the RBI and National Payment Corporation of India in digitalizing the payments and settlement systems in banks. To talk of a recent such change is the launch of the United Payments Interface UPI, and Bharat Interface for Money. It is because of all this that we do not need to carry cash anymore. We can make quick digital transactions anywhere and at any time. Although it makes the entire banking process smoother and more efficient, digitalization has some disadvantages too. Being at mercy of computers and the internet for everything. I am sure at least once you were stuck because either your net was not working or bank servers were down. And the second major one is security concerns. Today, hackers sitting in any part of the world can hack into any bank server or they can get into your account and steal the money. Banks today are definitely investing more and more into improving their cyber security. So all our digital transactions are safe. Another area going ahead where we can expect ease of payment as well as lower cost is cross-border transactions, all thanks to the globalization of technology. Business analytics and robotics, both enabled by an AI, have the potential to bring a serious change. Many private banks are starting to deploy robots for various processes. This will enhance the service more and make it cost-effective. With more fintech startup coming into this space with new ideas, we are sure the future of banking is going to be more seamless than ever.